Hey, hi there, I'm Alphonse, and we are back with Metal Gear Solid, as you can see. I finally managed to fix the, the issue we were having with changing the disc. So we are already on disc queue. I would say it's halfway through the game, but I consider halfway through the game the torture sequence. For me, for me, the halfway point through the game is actually the the to torture sequence, not the change the disc sequence. Also, I forgot there were soldiers here. Have there always been soldiers in here? I didn't remember that. Interesting. Did I forget? A security camera, another soldier in there. But yeah, I completely forgot there were soldiers in, in this room. Okay, so the PAL key is yellow now. Really stealthy, Snake. Really stealthy. Try not to fall and die. I'm going to use the D-pad for this because I don't trust the joystick on this part. Oh, you cannot... You cannot move when you are crouching. Okay, you can only crouch. Crouch and let it go. This hurts my fingers a lot. Thank you. Don't come up here, you bastard. Oh, he's, he's still on a lower level. Is he? Seems that he's coming up here. Hey, Trottle. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Where is the guy? Oh, he went down. God, I remember when I made Shadow Moses on Minecraft. I remember this was one of the worst parts to make. It was really annoying to make, especially with the uh, buckets of lava that I had to pick to, to make this part. Why didn't I make uh, Shadow Moses on creative. No, I had to make it on, on fucking normal mode. <laughs> You're going to come down so I can kill you or. Keep walking. There. We stayed way too many bullets, but. It's gone. It is gone. I also remember this part on Metal Gear Solid 4, exactly this area, being a, a tiny bit of a pain in the ass because of the dwarf geckos. There was an elevator there? Fuck. Oh, it's just a shortcut. Okay, we can go back down. something? I think I might be missing something. Yeah, how do you get to that area?
that in front of me or over me? And the way to get to that area is through here, yeah. Area infested with gun cams, so thank you. I don't even know why I wanted to come here. I shouldn't be here because it's fucking dangerous, but yeah, let's do it. Why not? Careful with this one. I don't even know if the steam can hurt you, but I think it does. It just opens. Oh, the freezing chamber. Isn't it? No, the elevator and then the freezing chamber. Yeah. How convenient that is coming up right when I'm here. the money going turtle there he is ah! Ah! do you really need to scream like that Wasting bullets. Way too many bullets. Oh. Should be more careful because I'm wearing the the body armor. And that takes like half of the damage I can take. But you can get killed because you don't have the rations equipped. Very slow and a bit sleepy, how about yours? It's moving way faster than my head can follow. <laughs> One second it was 7 a.m. I blink and it's already 9. Yeah, I don't like how, how the Monday is going. But hey, it works. I'm live. I, 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 I'm live on time, which doesn't happen too often. I knew there was a security camera there. Ouch. Even though I knew, Bastard managed to see me. Of course there are claymores, of course there are fucking claymores. Thank you for the ration. I, I really needed that. There is only one security camera, apparently, and no more claimers. So you should be okay. I'm going to equip the rations just in case. Seeing 
another ammo thingy, but I don't think I need ammo right now. He says right before making a huge mistake where he's going to need ammo. Can you please turn the elevator on? Thank you. Ravens, you can shoot at them, but no, we are not going to do that. Interesting. So the the image really breaks. I don't know if you can notice it that much, but if you look at the pipes. The movement of the elevator breaks the Shake. texture of the pipes. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about She's her? a traitor? Oh, Is what this a surprise. Conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in That's New York. That's my grandpa. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied. She might be a spy. Ridiculous. I mean, we are all spies. Even here. a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. Nope, they, they first started, started in the 60s. In 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president. <laughs> you better of check out your Italian history lessons, that Snake. Ninja, too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? She kinda is. I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, Could it be? be careful. It's funny because. Spoilers. Uh, he's warning us because he doesn't understand how Naomi works, so he's trying to understand how Naomi works through Snake. I, I've said who Miller is plenty of times already, but I don't want to spoil it. I think that everyone watching this already knows who Miller is. Any more security cameras, any more fucking claimers? T4? Nice. Oh, it's the ravens flying. Moderation, more rockets, nice. Is it going to just open or do I have to do it? Oh, for this one I have to do it, but for the other one I didn't? Convenient. supposed to be crows you are supposed to be with me ravens aren't scavengers like most people think they're simply returning to the natural world that which is no longer needed sometimes they even attack wounded foxes you were the one in the m1 tank wow Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you <laughs> but that was no true battle <laughs> 
Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. It will have been fun for the for the squad that he was leading in the tank to be called the Ravens. I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are This is to blinding me. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. Will I? You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. it must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Thanks for the repeat, Q. Yes, right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring I wouldn't have guessed by the name. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, yeah, but with the, the spirit gully. is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. Be careful with the the range she has. Son of a bitch, he heard it. Faster, faster, faster before he turns. Gotcha. this more fairly Come on now. they already kind of cheated with uh, kind of cheated with uh, sniper wolf although I think you have to use the stinger for this fight no matter what Not the stinger. Well, you can use the stinger, bro. Move. I love how it sounds like a knight armor when he's moving. Because of all the metal he's carrying. He's literally a walking tank. You don't need metal gear with this guy. Imagine how. Making it easier for you, and you are even having it more difficult than you should. How did that fail? How did that fail? Come on. I also love how the ammo on this stage. 
he's actually on the stage. Fuck off. He's actually on the stage. And you have to wait for him to shoot the boxes down. Oh, he's shooting the missile. And it also blocks your way. It makes it harder for you to move. Not only gives you ammo, but also blocks the, the how you can walk or not. Did I hit him? Come on, less talking and more shooting. The easiest way is not to follow him with the snake is to use the the Nikita. Shit. Also to use the C4. I mean, you can do what I did there and shoot before before it locks on, or you can see that there is a pattern to what he's doing and use the C4. going to come right through that and I can hit him with the C4 come on come through here you big fat raven into my trap. Right in the face. I think C4 is actually faster. attention with the uh, C4 but I couldn't. Thank you for playing. You got the big prize. A fucking big explosion on your face. That sounds bad. Come on Raven, we don't have the whole day. That raven is Mother Earth who bore me. Snake, I will be watching you. Understand? I mean, you talking louder doesn't make it easier to understand. Snake, take this security card, it will open that door. Thank you, that's nice of you. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You 
and the boss. You are from another world, a world that I do not wish to know. Go and do Hello, battle man. with him. I will be Hello, watching man. from above. Any of the not so good First, states in the states? Brilliant. The man who you saw die before your eyes. Now it's when I <laughs> lose everyone who's from Alabama or Oklahoma. I'm what sorry, I'm real sorry if people from Alabama or Oklahoma <laughs> it was the first two states that came to my mind. That was not the Darker Chief. No shit, I didn't notice that. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. Emphasis on was he copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he was. Oh, I forgot they show you the uh, the, the face of death. Uh, the dec decoy octopus. I thought that the only way to see decoy octopus's face was on the briefing files. But why go to no. so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake. Also, in why are ravens world, in the prison chamber? There, there shouldn't be ravens on the prison chamber. Slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? What the I'm trying to say is that Ravens are eating me alive! End. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Man, the I cannot wait to see the body count <laughs> at the end of the you game because no I killed like 200 people on Metal Gear 2. Metal Gear Solid is going to have like 400 plus people. They even ate the clothes? Seriously? I also love how you can see the... The bullet holes on the boxes. Snake, it's me. Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? You turn your monitor no, off. She's what? Away. <laughs> she's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this how about convenient. Naomi? Okay. Maybe we better let the colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Who's the real Naomi Hunter? Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either. But she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. <laughs> different group it couldn't be place her under arrest what she's betrayed us she needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with if she's one of their spies then we're in big trouble what do you mean uh, nothing she has Have you access to everything some what kind of vital secret or something does this have Gamble. anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president I... I have no idea. Yeah, my ass. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. Why I not? Knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's mm. doing here. I understand. It's been a while since the last time I played this game. Give me some time. It's I don't have any time left Way too long you. since the last time I played this game. God, the last time I played this... It's been five years since the last time I played this, because I the last time I played 
Metal Gear Solid 1 and the whole franchise was when they released Metal Gear Solid 5, and that was 2015. But yeah, I, I really love how you can see the bullet holes on the on the boxes. And I don't think they are on all the boxes. Like for example, these ones in here don't happen. I think that they made two textures for the boxes, one with bullet holes and one with without them. And that they trigger when when Draven shoots uh, the, the Gambling at them. Also, can you use the camera on the Gambling? to God, if there are mo more chaff or more grenades, uh, more grenades, uh, the, the security cameras, I expect them. I was meaning to say Claymore, because I don't know how to speak, apparently. There are more Claymores, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, better if I do this then. can aim better than that. Three, four, one. Oh, fucking floor traps! I didn't expect the floor trap to be there. <laughs> My god. Oh, there are no claymores. There are no claymores. It's all fucking security cameras. Given that the night vision goggles and the uh, shit, the night vision goggles and the other thing, the thermal goggles, are all technology based, it's not something you wear and that's it. Is a piece of technology. Shouldn't they be disturbed by the chaff? I think it will make sense that you cannot use those two items when you are using the chaff. Also, I'm waiting for three, no, two deliveries, three on next week? Sorry, I have to check something. Uh, yeah, on next week I will be waiting for three deliveries if two of them don't come this week. So, if I have to stop the stream halfway through it, it's because of that. Okay, no claymores, but there is Metal Gear. May I say that this is probably the biggest Metal Gear we've seen in the franchise so far. Because look at the size of this thing. It's fucking massive. I don't think Metal Gear and Metal Gear D were as big as Metal Gear Rex is. In fact, there, I think there is a size comparison image. Yeah, it came with a with a collector's book, but it doesn't show the size of Metal Gear and Metal Gear D. I think. Uh, 
it shows the size of Arsenal gear, the Peace Walker thingies, but it doesn't show, yeah, it doesn't show Metal Gear and Metal Gear D. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, Metal Gear uh, Rex is way bigger than Metal Gear and Metal Gear D, and it sucks that the size comparison thing sure looks better than the Sahelanthropus. I really like the design of the Sahelanthropus, and I really like that the the Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear D are a step back from the Sahelanthropus because they didn't have the they didn't have Huey to to develop the the Metal Gears. All they had was the the memories of Big Boss to to make those machines. So I I kind of like that they made Sahelanthropus super over the top and super advanced and then the next Metal Gears after Sahelanthropus were kinda shit because it, it kinda makes sense from a lore perspective but yeah, if you ask me, I really like the design of uh, Metal Gear Rex like then Ray, Peace Walker, and then Sahelanthropus, in that I'm order. Talking. Where are you now? Even Why though you the Peace Walker gear, is technically not strange. a Metal Gear. What is? There's nobody here. No guards. Nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. Well, they it's a walking tank. So you could say, you could I argue do? that it's a Metal Gear. All we can gear. do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys, and besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick. To also, I had the, the chat on Leave apparently during the whole kind of stream. Plan. Well, I'm in the computer room right now. Fuck. <laughs> I really don't like having chat on, but even that, don't you need a there's only three, of course, but there are three messages in chat. Are you? I, I don't have a lot of people yep. talking, so it, it's not well. in the way. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. I mean, if I have more people in chat, I will probably turn it off. But I, I don't usually have a lot of people talking in chat, so... It's okay, it's okay to, to have chat on, on, on the stream. Let's make it four. <laughs> thank you, Turtle, thank you. But yeah, look at the size of this thing. And it is small compared to the p fucking Peace Walker, because I, I, I've i seen the size comparison and I've played both games. And Rex is kinda smaller than Peace Walker. Snake, it's me again. Also kinda How's fucked up going? that Arsenal gear uh, and... Alter Haven are level. both he was a pretty considered Metal guy. Gears Do you think and not soon? just I never met a system submarines. I into. Okay, keep trying. Want to s always wanted to have a Lego version of Rex. I'm sure there are a lot of models of Rex you can buy and make, but I'm not sure if there is a Lego version of Rex. And if there is, please let me know because I want it. I have the Arsenal Bird from Ace Combat 7 and I want a Metal Gear Rex on my on my shelf. I always wanted there is a Metal Gear Rex model on FNAC in Barcelona and I couldn't buy it because it was super expensive but oh my god I mean having the Metal Gear 5 hand is cool and all but having a, an actual Metal Gear and not just Metal Gear merchandise is even better Snake I did it you got past security bingo I did Great. it so what do you got I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. I mean, the problem is not the Metal Gear, it's the nuke. Else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. 
just as I thought. The nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. So, oh, hey, hi, Kumavi. Yeah, it's welcome to the stream. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. But, but if it doesn't have missile, propulsion... The railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And oh, on top impossible. of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. No, I think and about it. Metal Gear. View, it avoids the problem. Uh, Metal Gear D didn't have nuclear, nuclear weapons. They were just Girl, walking tanks. Is this true? Are you this listening? is the first nuclear Metal Gear. I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the Star 3 treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. Also, the, the it's funny that they needed the UN, the railgun of Metal Gear Rex later on the franchise. I'm sorry. Even though the on the Colonel. original designs for Metal Gear Ray, excuses. the wings Snake, of Metal Gear Ray, if aligned, they are supposed to act as a railgun. Only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah. Then they make those a blade for Metal Gear Rising. Get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for. But, but? I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. So if they the have the test data, replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. Because the, the problem so is that uh, for it. for well, launching sequences, if you don't have the test data, things, so I think so. Did you find to simulate what is going yet? to happen, yet. you have to do the simulations file. from scratch, right and that takes more time. But if you have previous You're simulations, the missile can just be launched, and there is no problem. God, I love this machine so much. And I hate it so much, building it on fucking Minecraft. It took way too much time. It was worth it, but it took way too much time. And they managed to make a railgun that was able to throw... Fucking hell, I forgot there were security guards in there. Uh... How many of them are there? Only that guy. Pretty convenient. But yeah, I managed to make a railgun for the Minecraft Metal Gear Rex that was able to throw TNT. Snake. What? What? I don't, what? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SGI I need to spend. try and make it. it looks like there was even some Maybe on the stream. Maybe on the stream I will try and make was right Outer Heaven. Project, I guess. Outer Heaven. And it looks I will like try to make a uh, Shadow Moses again DARPA with the Metal Gear and all. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big I was never able to make Metal Gear move I see. because of Minecraft so anyway, making things, what about especially big things, move is Just a fucking a pain in the ass. Especially the railgun. The railgun was just a fucking launcher, a TNT launcher. But it would be cool to be able to move a Metal Gear you through for Minecraft. Override system. Just wait a little longer. No, I don't want to. a lot about the arms industry, though. After the Cold War ended, the United States slashed its defense budget by more than 15%. Naturally, the arms industry was severely affected. 
It resulted in an orgy of mergers and acquisitions. Did you see an orgy? Some of the big arms conglomerates today are made up of what 10 years ago would have been 20 or more smaller arms companies. Arms Tech is one of those. But we lost our bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jets. Then we took a stab at civilian applications, but that was a failure too. The company was about to go belly up. Ironically, the Defense Department was in pretty much the same situation. Thanks to big budget cuts, they were forced to turn to the private sector to help fund their weapons development. On top of that, the government began to actively export their advanced weapons technology to the private sector in order to maintain a high standard of quality in the country's defense armaments. Eventually, they decided on a joint development project for new weapon systems between the DOD and the private sector. And since both sides were in such bad financial shape, that's where all the back scratching came in. So there was another reason for the joint development of Metal Gear, huh? It wasn't just President Baker trying to keep arms tech afloat. Interesting. I'm glad we got that conversation because I wasn't planning on getting it. Is there anything here I can get? Besides, you know, an alert. Look at this thing. It's fucking terrifying and it's stopped right there. It's not even moving. And the railgun, my god, that's a huge fucking weapon. I imagine what people should have felt when you send the sick on Peace Walker out on missions. Imagine people being on a normal mission on Peace Walker and seeing the fucking Metal Gear sick coming towards you. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernatin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovic would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Oh, wait, they mentioned Golukovic already? Why? There's nothing there. I Wrong. forgot they mentioned the Golukovic test so early. Site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population Interesting. center, the game's I over. completely forgot that. A nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the presidents. And with the CTBT, that means that China and India. I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. The president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demand. Fox, Fox Dye? Dye? It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. I don't think it's a an actual Maybe virus. I think it's a digital guy. virus that it's makes the nano machines kill yourselves. Worked out all the bugs yet. It doesn't feel like it's an actual virus that you snakes heard from your spreading. Friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovic at the Spetsnaz. I really forgot he that they talk about Golukovic the so soon. Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm. He's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovic, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But 
He's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's, got over a He's the one who gave us the hind, so are you going to complain? He gave us a chopper, one chopper, that you crashed. Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. Oh, that Still explains escape. also why the alert. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made. So and we're about the to way with the alert forces. works is that fight the whole world? Psycho Mantis was yeah, controlling all the soldiers. We can launch a nuclear war. So they are all target on this planet. A like a hive mind. Warhead, invisible to radar. So whenever on someone sees the enemy, the alert triggers immediately warheads. because they are all Once seeing the enemy. The DNA and the money, the world I also forgot about that. Ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. Not today. Call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. Are Big you boss. seriously calling Shadow Moses Outer Heaven? worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Didn't and I? No one can stop Metal Gear now. I did have the, By the way, power key on me. What should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and I Snake did have cares the for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. Yeah, she's it's still alive. alive. I didn't have any keys on him? Snake, I did have my key. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. Poor Shadow. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape I think you have seen alloy. that. Before yes. somewhere, I think. it's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is you made have out. already seen that on the key. previous game. Yeah, the car key changes shape at different temperatures. So, this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? EWS, the low electronic key. weapon system. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is right. They perfectly know. Hey, Snake. Who's that? Damn. Well done, Snake. He fell in the drainage ditch. Snake, this is bulletproof glass. Is it? There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. Do I? Do I have to? Oh fuck the alerts. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> it changed because I'm in here. 
it is actually considered a separate room. Good to know, good to know. I'm glad to see that they cannot move and shoot at the same time. They are like me, they cannot move and shoot at the same time. Use the ladder, snake. Fuck's sake. Can they use the ladder? No, I should be safe here. And the alert is gone. <laughs> what? Cannot see him. Ah, now away they go. Uh, so, do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to end this one here. I've been playing already for almost an hour. Thanks for being here, Kumavilla. Thanks for being here, Trottle. It's been a pleasure to play with you. And I will see you hopefully on the next stream. So, until then, see you.